welcome or welcome back to my channel as you can tell from the title i'm doing a braces update it's been six months since i had my braces and a lot has changed if y'all didn't see my first video when i got them in you would know if y'all did see it you would know that a lot has changed and if you didn't see it go make sure to check that video out so don't forget to like comment subscribe and let's just go ahead and get into the video so first things first i got my braces july of 2021 and now it's march 2022 so it's been about six months or so in my last video i had a crooked tooth right here in the corner and then i had an overbite so now we can look at my teeth today no more crooked tooth but it's a lot of things that i really really gotta get into so first things first this is what the orthodontist told me he basically was saying that in order to get rid of my overbite they have to pull two, te two teeth in the back and then basically they're going to use braces to close that gap and once the gap closes basically my under my overbite is going to go back so that was the whole you know that was my braces explanation for me so but the orthodontist was also saying that when my front when my top teeth go back it's going to cause my lower teeth to go forward and give me an underbite <laughs> yo i'm like so basically you tell me i just can't win with braces alone and then he was like since you'll have an underbite then we'll use jaw surgery to fix that underbite so i'm like i can't just you know i can't just get the braces and so basically that's what the whole situation was and i agree with it i should have really thought about it longer before i went with my decision but i just really wanted braces and my insurance was gonna pay for all of it so i was really like let's just do it you know so i went through with the process i had my braces for a while and then they end up pulling my teeth so they pulled my t front teeth right here and i'm gonna show y'all <laughs> and it, it's giving horsey it's giving horsey uh but i try not to look at it and dwell on it too much but i was like oh my god why is my phone going off i'm popular <laughs> but yeah i try not to look at it too much because every time i look at it i just like want to cry like ew <laughs> why am i text me but that's how it looks so basically he was saying once your gaps close then you you should be ready for jaw surgery to fix that underbite that you're going to form so they pulled my teeth and two weeks go by and I start noticing that I am forming an underbite. I start noticing it. And it's not like they didn't tell me that it was gonna happen, but when I when I seen it, I was just like, yo, no, what is this? No. Like literally my bottom lip was starting to poke out like I just felt my lip just like coming out and I was just like no this is no this is too much like I was starting to notice my underbite and I just got really like self-conscious about it so um that's when I was just starting to reconsider this whole process because now I'm thinking like okay how big is this underbite gonna be like <laughs> So that's when I had called the orthodontist and basically she was just like, oh, we don't, we don't really know how big the underbite was going to, it's going to be, but we just know that once your gap closes, then you'll be eligible for surgery and it's going to fix that underbite. <laughs> but I'm like, ain't no telling how long it's going to take for these gaps to close. Like this gap is huge. These two gaps are huge. Like, look y'all. So basically, I have to wait until these huge gaps close. That could take up to a year. That could take up to like months, so many months to a year to close. Um, and there's no telling 
how big this underbite is gonna be. So I'm like, oh my gosh, no. So now I'm just reconsidering the whole process. Like, I, so I was starting to get self-conscious when I started getting the underbite. So I'm like, no, it took me a long time to really love how I look and I just don't wanna start changing again, you know. I had went to my next appointment she basically was like, okay, it's been six months, you know. I told you that this was going to happen. I'm like, first of all, calm down. She was like, I told you this was going to happen, but I'm glad that you came to me while we're still in the process where we can still, like, reverse the situation before we, you know what I'm saying? She basically was like, I'm glad you told me, like, now instead of, like, later when it's, like, crazy to change so she was like you still have options if you don't want to go through with the surgery you have a, a little underbite now basically she was talking about shaving a couple teeth because shaving a couple teeth to push that overbite back and i'm like no 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 so she put power chains on my bottom row so that it can pull that underbite back a little bit um so that's what my power chains are for and now since i don't want to go through a surgery um and i have these big spaces she was like since you don't want to go with the surgery you can get teeth implants um for these spaces so basically i got my teeth pulled for no reason I have these big spaces because i don't want to go through with the surgery anymore and yeah so I was like, you know what, I think I might do that, but so I'm still like in the thinking about it, so I'm not sure for sure. <sighs> so let's talk about reasons why I don't want this surgery. Number one, um, basically I don't want to wait that long for surgery. Like I don't want to see my underbite getting super, super, super big. Like she said it may be a year up until I get the surgery, and I didn't want to wait that long. Number two, I went on YouTube and, and I started researching jaw surgery patients and stuff like that. And it really scared me. It was a lot of people saying like, oh, my, I came out of surgery and healed and my face was crooked. My chin was like crooked and I just don't look the same at all. And I was like, no, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't got time for that. No, I accept the way I look now. That's just, this is how I'm going to look for the rest of my life. I don't want nobody touching my face. I'm never gonna be the type to have surgery on my face, nose, jaw, like lips. I Another reason why I'm just kind of like on the fence about the surgery is also because it's through military. Um, it's it's through military surgeons, and I just heard a lot of things about like military healthcare in general. It's just kind of top tier, like you know, regular professions. And I don't know, like the the orthodontists, they're all professional, they're cool, but it's just like it's also like this is the military, like this is not years and years of trained medical professionals. This is just like military trained professionals, and it's different than like the civilian world. So that's another reason why I was kind of like scared about the surgery, cause I want the top tiers on my face. You know, I'm not a, a military professional. So that's one thing. Um, so that brings me to where I'm at now. Basically, like I said, I'm on the fence about the surgery. Um, so what I think that I want to do is just have these power chains in. And I've had these in for four days. And I'm going to talk about how they, how they are. But basically, I think I just want to have the power chains and uh, allow it to fix my underbite and basically get the teeth implants since I'm not, if I don't go through with the surgery, they're not going to close these gaps because the more they close this gap, the more my underbite will be. So, yeah, they're not going to close the gaps because they don't want that to happen if I don't want the surgery. So, I think I'm just going to get the teeth implants. <laughs> and look like nah let me stop but hopefully they say the teeth implants is one of the best options for a missing tooth so 
I think I might just do that and allow my power chains to close my spaces because that's another thing when I had my um when I first got my bottom braces it formed spaces in my teeth and I'm like I ain't never had spaces in my bottom row so why when I get braces I'm getting spaces like I don't but then they were just like it's normal and I googled it and they were like that's normal the gaps will close and I'm like okay so that's what these power chains are doing they're closing my gaps and they're closing the hopefully they're going to bring back the little overbite that I formed but that's the, what I think that I'll do for the rest of my braces process like I just want it simple I don't want to pull no more teeth or go through any surgery um, I just want to keep as simple as I can so that's really it for my braces I'm trying to think if I missed anything oh let me talk about these power chains so basically the power chains I ain't gonna lie for anybody who is watching this video because they're going to get braces power chains hurt really bad you cannot eat anything and that was my one uh, annoying problem like I want to eat but you can't really eat anything with power chains for the first couple of days because your teeth is really tender and it really hurts so bad because it's like the power chain is like an elastic rubber band like Ugh, pushing everything back and it's just like it just really hurts and on day one you feel your teeth starting to lock together so that's a good thing um now it's kind of it's still kind of tender but i can eat i can eat basically for the most part um about four or five days later now i can eat so that's that's a good thing so and every time I go in to get my braces tightened or something like that, um, I can't eat. Like, it's so annoying. But it only lasts for like two days or three days. So, y'all, that's all for this freaking, that's all for this update. I think I really said everything. Um, if y'all have any questions about my braces or your process or how the process goes, just comment below and that's all i have to say don't forget to like comment and subscribe and follow me on my social medias and that's all for this video thank y'all for watching again peace